So here we are, by the paintings in Gallery 6, the first gallery. And the painting I always used to go and look first is, in fact, Hendrik Avrikom's Winter Landscape. Oh, it's such a wonderful painting. It was painted in 1608, and it gives a very true picture of the Netherlands in wintertime, although we don't know whether Avrikom painted it from nature somewhere, and neither do we know whether he made up the location or whether it actually existed. But what I think is so great about this picture is the detail of the clothing. Avercomp has painted what people are wearing in such detail that you can see whether they were rich or poor, and whether they are townspeople or country folk. Well, let's start in the bottom right-hand corner. You see, there's a couple skating towards us. The man is wearing a black suit, red stockings, red shirt, and she has very beautiful outfit on. When you think that in those days the width of the fabric was 50 centimeters, no more than 50 centimeters, because the looms were no bigger than that, you can see how much fabric was used in a skirt like that. And underneath her skirt, a woman wore a, a long shirt. Men wore such shirts too, which they then simply tied between their legs, like, you know, they're still the in India today. In fact, we saw these shirts earlier in the attic of the doll's house, you remember? And that's something else I just love, the way you can compare the two. Left of the couple, we see a man carrying a bundle of reeds on his back. He's obviously on his way back from work and is going home, I think. And then you see a couple skating away from us. These two are clearly wearing local dress. This was totally what people wore in those days. So you could tell where someone came from. And further up on the left, we see a little group of very rich people chatting together. The important detail here is that the ladies are showing their undergarment, which means that they were extremely rich, because they weren't just able to show their outer clothes. No, they could show off their underclothes as well. And there's a huge contrast with the beggar on the left of the man with the feathers in his head. And if you look closely, you can see that a lot of people are dressed in rather shabby clothes. So they're not at all so rich. In fact, you know, there used to be a big market for second-hand clothes. A bit like the flea market on Noordermarkt today here in Amsterdam. Clothes were never simply thrown away, no. People even used to specify in their will who would inherit what clothing. And suits are worn until they were completely worn out. Worn out clothes were then made into paper, which would be then used by artists like Avercom for sketching. So you see, recycling isn't a recent invention, no. They were doing it already back then. What's interesting is that Avercom painted this on high-quality oak. More costly than canvas, but also much smoother, so you could paint with far greater precision. This painting is made up of two panels. You can see the join, you see, by the treetops, at the top on the left and on the right too. He, he first primed the panel and then drew on it with charcoal. You can still see this. If you look, if you carefully look, in the very center of the painting, the house in the middle distance, with the little tower sticking out above the roof, blue at the bottom and a blue roof, you can see a charcoal drawing of a tree showing through the house. So he obviously decided at a later point to paint in the house. What I enjoyed most about this painting when I was a child, well, if you look on the extreme left, you see a house and a woman carrying a child in her arms in a little boat. And above the boat, <laughs> you see a man answering the call of nature. And if you look closely, you'll see that it's not a little outhouse, but a small boat tipped on its side. And then by the tip of that little boat, on the left, there's another man paying a call. If we now go to the bottom of the picture, we see what, you know, it looks like a prawn, but I think it's, it's a dead horse and a dog tearing the flesh of its carcass and birds joining in the feast. And then on the extreme right we see, again, a, a kind of a hut next to that beautiful tree with a man trying to climb that tree, in fact, and a graffiti-like writing, H. Avercomp. Can you see? H. V. Oh, I think it's, it's such a fantastic painting. 